Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and well I saw this video. I saw it, the uncensored one is fucking gruesome. So you have something that happened in Washington DC with this US airman. He he set himself on fire outside a Israeli embassy and he was yelling free Palestine and until he just succumbed to his wounds. Ah, oh, shit. So, I'm just going to read you this article because com coming to this, well, I, before even saying something, we need to hear what we found. A member of the United States Air Force who had set himself on fire outside the Israeli embassy in Washington in an apparent protest against Israeli war in Gaza has passed away, the Pentagon says. The 25-year-old airman, Aaron Bushnell of San Antonio, Texas, passed away from his injuries. The Metropolitan Police Department of Washington, D.C. said on Monday. U.S. media reports say Bushnell live-streamed himself, yeah, on the social media platform Twitch. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Uh. Wearing fatigues and declaring he will not be complicit in the GNO site before dosing himself in liquid on Sunday. He then lit himself on fire while yelling free Palestine until he fell to the ground. The footage has since been removed from Twitch for obvious reasons and you can have a title in on YouTube, of course, or even on Twitter, because they are mass reporting that, because, well, I, from what we know, this, this dude was a fucking leftist, and probably he got groomed into doing that, and the worst part of what I saw from social media, they were fucking quote-unquote peers of the, of the side he was supporting, still bashing him, even though, yeah, he he lost his life for doing this. And they were saying, but he's still white. <laughs> it's like fucking hell, this fucking leftist. I said it before, they like to eat their own. But well, you don't have proof enough that I'm just going to Twitter to see their own behavior. Ah, let's continue. In that statement, the Air Force said on Monday the individual involved in yesterday's incident succumbed to his injuries and passed away last night. The Air Force said it would provide additional information a day after military officials completely notifying his next of kind. Oh, next of kin. Uh, what, what, what I can understand from this, or uh, what I get from this paragraph, is that he, they are saying, yeah, we need to cover up what we could, what, what something could be potentially be avoided. Ah, fucking nonsense. The incident comes at, as protests against Israel. <coughs> the war on Gaza continues across the U.S. I, I, I don't like both sides. I despise both of them. I said it before. Ah, uh, even if I go ranting about again. I hate the tiny hats for creating the whole woke ideology and pushing it over the world. Because they create that. And they like to push that on everyone else, but well, they don't like that for themselves because, well, uh, if you go through the paragraphs of their own Bible, well, their version of their Bible, it's just like the same just as the fucking Sharia love. <laughs> the, like the, the fucking Muslims and just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, and then you have Palestine who, well, at this point, they are just the range fucks. They are very the range, and you, uh, you can see that over the whole of all Europe, how they behave, how they Minecraft people, they Minecraft everyone, and they can get free because we are my inclusion, my tolerance, my whole diversity. <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to get more detail about that, you can get the idea. But well, let's continue. 
The incident comes as a protest against... Yeah, we read that. In December, a protester set herself on fire outside the Israel consulate in Atlanta. I never heard of that. Of this. I never heard of that, honestly. I never heard of that. A, a similar case. And nobody said a thing. Uh, a Palestinian flag was found at the scene. At the ad was believed to be one of extreme political protests. <laughs> Well, like a string sport while well, setting yourself on fire, but well, I'm uh, just making a very bad joke right now. But the fact that, well, is a bit of, uh, even a bad joke is calling that, yeah, it's in political protest. You often time you hear the phrase like, yeah, punch, fist of iron, a uh, jaw of crystal. That's because, well, they like to punch harder but don't like receiving when someone hits back. And what's f fucking astonishing on all of this is that, yeah, they are just going as far as saying, yeah, we are still the victims. Honestly, if you look at the whole conflict from both sides, nobody is fucking innocent. No one. You have these fucking tiny hats doing shitty things. And at the same time enacted the wokeism, and then you have the Palestinians who have groups like Hamas, and they Minecraft children, they, well, both sides do that. Let's not fool ourselves. But the, the other thing that they, despite how they brainwash their own people to say, to be like this, those with bombs setting them, exploding themselves, you know what the ones I'm referring to, in terror dudes. <sighs> Honestly, I just going to reiterate that this whole conflict, in order to end, some one side must purge the other from the face of Earth. And I'm not joking. I'm not picking any sides. Don't twist my words. Just one side, depending on what it is, need to erase the other one from the earth to actually end the conflict because there is not going to be any talking point. The hate is still going around. You can't ch change that. But well... Only time will tell, but I'm just going to say that, yeah, I know Israel is being financed by the U.S. That's why I don't like. Over the course of the years, yeah, the whole, the whole conflicts they created, uh, the whole destruction they created only because profitable, uh, profiting on drugs and guns. And even that, yeah, they despise their own citizens having guns, but they love selling that to groups like Hamas or Israel. All across the fucking world. Ah <laughs> oh, man, this this is just fucking insanity. But while well, we are living in the reality of South Park, let's continue. Israel launched an assault on Gaza after Hamas fighter attacked Israel on October 7, minecrafted at least 1,139 people and seized about 250 as hostages. Since those attacks, Israel has bombarded the Palestinian territory from air, land and sea and launched a ground invasion. More than 29,000 people have been minecrafted in the Israeli assault, according to Palestinian authorities. And then they got minecrafted back by the Houthis because, yeah, Gaza right now is being supported by Iran. Iran is a directly ranged side of the Muslims created by the U.S., Funny how the most of the deranged sites in conflict history, they were all started by the U.S. involvement. It's kind of interesting how that works. And then you have fuck it, all, uh, both sides calling themselves, but yeah, but my war crimes, my war crimes. <laughs> and then you have, yeah, a recording that they deleted because you're not a tiny hands on the media. How they minecrafted in, the, uh, in a hospital leaders or military personnel from 
Palestine, and all while being disguised as civilians. And they, they call you, yeah, about my war crimes. Like, yeah, shut the fuck up. Both sides were, were, are doing that. Why do you think you are better than the other one? Seriously, the whole hypocrisy. The, uh, that's the only thing I can I only see from this whole conflict. So, Israel campaign in Gaza has left much of territory in risk and displaced more than 80% of its population. But yeah. That, that's what we know right now with the whole thing. I don't know about how the mental stability of this dude was. But I can assure you it was non-existent. Probably got groomed by someone to do that because yeah, Palestine do that, that shit to gullible people. But anyway. That's something that I really wanted to cover here. Everyone who watched this video, I just hope everyone who listened it or watched it, I hope every, you have a pretty good day.